Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is a DevOps quick series. In this video, we will be installing a self-hosted Windows agent for our Azure pipelines. If you see my screen in the agent pools for my project, there are two types of uh, agent pools. One is your Microsoft hosted, the Azure pipelines and the default Azure pipelines for your self-hosted agent. Currently, I do not have any agent installed on my system. So if I click on the default, I will not see any agent there. So by the end of the video, we will have an agent installed and uh, the agent will be visible online and under the default agent pools. So let's get started. Let's add an agent pool. If you see there are the options available, if you click on the drop down, you see the pool types which is self hosted and your virtual machine skill sets. We do not, uh, I mean, you can always create a new pool, but I will install an agent under the default agent pool. So if you see I do not have any jobs. I don't have any agents under my default agent pools. So let's add an agent. Once you click on it, it will show you the steps how to install it and how to make it work. Let's download the agent. You can do the same via partial. But I'll be downloading the entire file and we'll be running the batch command. So the files have been downloaded. I will extract them. Once extracted, I'll move all the contents into a folder separately in my C drive under a new folder called agent. So let me first go into the folder where I have, I have my uh, all the files extracted. So I'll do a CD and the folder name. So this is where I have all my files extracted. I'll run config.cmd. If I show you the folder, this is the batch file that will run the command Windows command prompt file cmd. Once it runs, it will ask you for the server URL, which is your Azure DevOps organization. Then press enter for PACT, personal access token. I'll go back to my Azure DevOps, go to my personal access tokens, and I'll generate a new token. Give it a name. My organization is all right. I'll give full access. You can always go ahead and do a custom defined token. But for this purpose, I'll just use full access. The agent pools one should work fine. So I have created my personal access token. I've copied it. I'll go back to my terminal. Paste my path, press enter. Enter and keep pressing enter whenever you want the default settings or provide the new settings. If you want to run as agent, type in Y and then enter user account to use for the service. Press enter for network service. I'll press enter. Again, input Y and press enter. And that should do it. So now this agent should be visible in our Azure DevOps. So if we go back to our project under agent pools, under default and agents, you can see our agent is now visible in our Azure DevOps. 
you can update it or delete it if wanted but if you see currently it is offline and we will need to make sure that our service is running fine so we'll go to our services.msc search for the agent service so if you search with azure pipelines agent you should be able to find it it's there under the asp.net state service the name is azure pipelines agent and if you see under the brackets it is fitness geek org dot default so i will need to re i mean i'll need to start that agent because currently it is in a stop state so i'll right click and start my agent it is up and running fine now so it should now be online on our azure devops dashboard so if i go back to my azure devops and you can see my agent is online now you can enable or disable the agent from here and in the next video we will see how we can utilize this agent to build and deploy projects via this self-hosted agents thanks for watching and keep supporting